Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. In this video we're going to do a review of two insulated bottles. This is the Hydro Flask and this is Zorjushi. Zorjushi from Japan. In this video I'm specifically going to go over the pros and cons of each bottle. So we're just going to do a little test and see how well they keep the water hot and how well they keep the water cold. Um, it's nothing scientific, it's just a little general test that we're going to review. So let's get right into it. I never realized how important it is to actually buy these bottles, especially when traveling. And when you're visiting countries, you're always thirsty, you're walking around. I just hate the idea of paying for water, right? Especially in places that have very clean water. I think it doesn't make any sense to buy bottled water when you have bottles such as these to keep water very cold or very hot depending on the weather outside. So I appreciate these bottles so much when I'm traveling to hot countries. I have ice cold water with me and vice versa when I'm traveling to places such as Iceland and I have hot hot water with me. It just feels wonderful. So these are highly recommended for traveling. I think one of the coolest things is not only that you save money when you're traveling from buying other drinks, it kind of prevents you from buying unhealthy drinks such as soda or like juices and whatnot. It also decreases your carbon footprint, right? So who doesn't want to do that and help save the world? So I think it's cool that you could fill up from your hotel and carry it for the rest of the day. It also gives you incentive to drink more water because obviously you don't want to be carrying it around all the time when it's full. So throughout the day, you're, you know, you're just going to naturally just drink the water. There are a lot of good pros of buying these water bottles. This one is the 32 ounce wide mouse. Um, hydro flask that I bought and this is the blueberry color which I love it's not too poppy and it's just it's just different I would say not navy blue so these usually go for around $40 um, but this color was on sale so I actually got it for $30 which is awesome which is a good deal this is the cap that it comes with but you could get other types of caps some cool features is that, you know, I love holding it like this and when you're traveling you could just hold on to it. It does come with a cap that you have to twist open. It looks just like this from the inside. So unfortunately you need two hands to take care of this one. This is a Soju Rushi bottle that I have and this is the copper gold color or champagne color, I forgot which one. The cool feature about this one is that it pops open. So you really just need one hand, pop up, and then it also has a lock feature in case you accidentally open it. So this cap keeps the water very well insulated. Um, and the lids look like this. There are definitely more pieces here that require you to clean the cap. So sometimes um, things do build up around here and you do need to clean them. Whereas the other cap is pretty much a lot more simpler and there's not much you have to do with it. And you can see over time it does fade. But again, I had this longer than the Hydro Flask. So I'm sure that the Hydro Flask will eventually have scratches and peeling as well. The Hydro Flask Thermal claims to keep the water hot for up to 12 hours and 24 hours cold. Zoujuri She claims to keep the water hot at 147 degrees Fahrenheit for up to 6 hours and cold water at 48 degrees Fahrenheit for up to 6 hours. They are both BPA free. The Hydro Flask costs around $40 but with this color that I got on sale, I got it for $30 instead. Zoujuri She costs around $30 on Amazon. I poured hot boiled water into both water bottles and I tested them throughout 12 hours, 16 hours, and 20 hours. In the 12 hour mark, both bottles were very warm. Zorjo Rishi was the winner because it was so warm that when I tried to drink it, I had a slight burn on my tongue. Versus the Hydro Flask was warm but didn't feel super hot that I had to drink it very slowly. In the 16 hour mark, both bottles were still super warm. They were very comparable to the 12 hour mark 
where Zorchu Rishi was still a slight bit warmer than the Hydro Flask. In the 20 hour mark, these bottles still held up to their standards. Zorchu Rishi is still keeping the water decently hot, and the Hydro Flask at this point tastes more like warm water than it is than hot water, and is very close to room temperature water. So if you're all about keeping their liquid hot, Zorchu Rishi is the clear winner. Both brands were able to keep up with their requirements and keeping the water cold for 24 hours when we put in ice cubes. Some factors to consider are that the Hydro Flask is a lot larger in size and the wide mouth opening may have given the Hydro Flask a slight disadvantage every time I open the bottle. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I convinced you guys to invest in the bottle of your own. Whether it's for traveling or daily use, I highly recommend it. It'll change your life and you'll just naturally drink more water. If you have any of these bottles, let me know how'd you like them or what you don't like about them. Let me know what else you guys want me to review and what else you want to see next. If you haven't already, please subscribe below. Questions, comments are always welcome, of course. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!